It was a kind of like a great big tote, and I'd fill that with water. Well, the only problem is when you get out in the rough water, that water splashes out of the tote and gets all over the bottom of the canoe. So I decided to try this. It is a 30 gallon water bladder. And I figured it up, and if I fill it up to the full 30 gallons, it's going to weigh 270 pounds, which I do not need. But this one here, it will fit right in about any spot, and looks like this is going to be perfect. So I'm going to put it together. I can figure out how to do it. And... The reason I have this engine hoist here is because when I fill this up, it's going to weigh a lot more than my canoe trailer can handle. And I didn't want to bend the tongue because it's only made out of aluminum. That's why it's lightweight. But we're going to get this thing set up and fill it with water. Sorry for the noise. I live in a big city and everybody has a motorcycle. And I live by a pretty busy road, so that I cannot do much about. But we'll put a little tape on here to help seal it. And you'll kind of have to excuse me because this is the first time I've ever done a multiple camera video. But I figured, well, I got to learn sometime. Well, that's going to be tight. Okay, put that on. I think nah that's wrong that's on the wrong hole I gotta do this one one thing about editing if I want to I can cut this out but everybody makes mistakes But the good thing about this is I can walk on it. When I had that container in here, um, there was no way to get to the back of the canoe when you're from shore. And okay, got that on. I'm going to leave this off because I have a different way of unloading it. So it fits right down there in this. I have a scale and right now it's holding 49 pounds. <coughs> so I'll get the water hose. And we'll see how much weight I can put in it 
I would like to have it. My other sandbags were running about 40 or 145 pounds. So Well, it's taking water. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, which is great. I didn't want it real big. Because I carry a lot of fishing equipment in here. And the dog, she likes to get up here in front. So... She'll be able to still get up here. This thing is going to work very well. I wish I'd have thought of this years ago. Filling up. We're up to a hundred pounds. So with my calculations, we got to be up around 150 pounds. And then with the weight of the canoe, which was another 50 pounds, 200 pounds should be about right. Now I really like this setup. And that's going to really be nice. getting everything all ready for this summer. The rivers around here are real low, so I won't be taking the big boat out as much as this canoe. And okay, what are we at? We're at about 140 pounds. That fits perfect in here. See, the thing is, I go out canoeing a lot by myself. And so, to have the canoe function properly, you need to have the front end weighted down. A canoe is not meant to plane, even though you see mine flying around sometimes. So you want to keep the nose down in the water because a canoe is made to cut the water, not go over the top of it. <clears throat> I really can't tell you how many gallons we got in it. We're up to 150 pounds. I might have to fill it all the way up. Boy, that's going to be nice. This bag, I got it off Amazon, and it was like 50 bucks, somewhere around there. They just delivered it. Uh, there goes a motorcycle. Sorry about that. Sixty five pounds. I hope this is all working out right because this is the first time I've ever done this, and now I understand why or how people make videos on YouTube how much work they go through. It is crazy, but it's also a lot of fun. I just like to share ideas with canoers, so if they're running into the same problem. Okay, it looks like it is full. 
And we are at, oh yeah, that's nice. We're at 170 pounds. So I think that will be plenty of weight. Uh-oh, now I'm in trouble. I gotta get that fixed. Or I'm gonna run into a lot of trouble. I should have put uh, clevises on that hoist. Because this isn't good for my trailer. I can see the tongue bending I don't think it hurt anything let me take a look nope it's still straight Wow, we're up to 200 and 228 pounds. So I do not have to fill this all the way up, which is good. So that's working good. I'll take a picture to show you what it looks like once I figure out the camera. Whoops. Duh. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Bladder's in, fits into the compartment really good. Just goes to the front seat, which is awesome. And no leaks. And everything looks good. So, now I will show you how I am going to let the water out. This is another one of my own inventions. I have a little one-tenth horsepower pump. I do have a submersible pump, but I, I know that will not go through the hole. So, I got this. The only drawback with this is you have to carry a battery with you. But I happen to have a portable, portable power source, so I can put air in my tires, I can run, I can charge batteries, it has a, has a couple of USB ports, very handy, and you take this thing off, yeah, we got water, uh oh, well that's not good. Hold a second. I gotta figure out something else. I know what I can do. I can just cut the end off.
There we go. Hoses are cheap anyway. So, push this down in. Get it to the bottom. Put this hose on the end just to, so it doesn't spray out all over the place. Like I say, this is the first time I've done this, so it is probably going to take a little practice. Okay, pump is ready. This is the battery charge, the battery setup. I'll show you. I'll set it right down here. Hook up the battery leads. And pretty soon we're going to be flying. Turn it on. Make sure all my connections are away. Then it has a little pump switch. Well, it says it's supposed to be self-priming, but I don't think it is. So, I'll get it to siphon. I guess it is. Pumping the water out. I should have put a timer on it. So it looks like it's going to work very well. And I'm real happy with it. The pump's a little noisy. I'll come back out of the way a little bit. But it's taking the water down. This idea is mainly for people that have to go out canoeing alone and they want some ballast. My other setup a couple years ago, it was sandbags. I made them out of old pants. And I had probably five or six of them. Well, that's kind of a pain when you get back to the boat dock and you have to unload the sandbags before you can even get the canoe up on the trailer. And this way I can empty that bladder while I'm out on the lake. So I think that'll be very practical. Doing a very good job. The weight is down to 150. hundred and forty you figure a gallon of water weighs about seven point four pounds per gallon so a 30 gallon bladder is going to be plenty they have larger ones but I did not need it okay we're down to 
110 pounds. And I think it went. I don't want to run the pump dry because that's hard on the impeller. But it worked very well. Not much stuff to carry with you when you go out. Just the battery case, which is this thing. The pump. And you really can get by with one hose, but I just wanted two. So, that was it. We're down to 100 pounds, which I think a lot of that might be. Uh, there's still quite a bit of water in it. But that's where you can dump it out here if you want. Or not. But. No, it works. Very handy. Yep, you can get it out, pick it up, weighs about 50 pounds. Now, with that out of there, the front of the canoe weighs 50 pounds. So let's see how much this weighs. 50 pounds. Okay. Looks good. Gonna work very well. So I hope this was very handy for you. <clears throat> if you can come up with other ideas, feel free to share them. But right now this is working real well. So thank you for tuning in and if I come up with any, any other weird things, I'll let you know. So, thanks a lot. And goodbye.